Google's AI search is over. Google, a company renowned for its search engine, has been playing a game of catch-up in the AI field, taking a back seat to its core business. In the meantime, rivals such as Microsoft and OpenAI have gained traction, disrupting Google's core search engine. However, on May 10th, Google made a series of announcements showcasing its commitment to utilizing generative AI to enhance all its products, including its search engine. During its annual I.O. Developer Conference, Google unveiled an impressive array of 25 new products, each empowered by the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. These offerings span a range of domains, from coding to healthcare, and promised to deliver cutting-edge solutions to users across the globe. But among the plethora of these products, the most significant and standout one is obvious, Google Search. By leveraging the power of AI, Google aims to redefine the search experience, enhancing its accuracy and relevance. This revolution is being done through generative AI, enabling the solution of unprecedented queries and streamlining information organization. This advanced technology will provide users with better ways to navigate and make sense of the abundance of information available online. For example, if a user were to ask a complex question such as, what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches? It's unlikely that they would phrase the question in the same way as if they were speaking to someone when entering it into Google. Instead, they deconstruct the question into smaller parts and go through a large streamline of information. However, with generative AI, Google Search can do some of the heavy lifting. Users will be presented with an AI-generated snapshot of essential information to consider accompanied by links for further exploration. Additionally, suggested next steps will appear, including the option to ask follow-up questions, such as how long to spend at Bryce Canyon with kids. When selected, this feature transitions to a conventional mode, allowing users to engage Google in a more natural exploration of the topic. Context is carried over from question to question as well, creating a seamless search experience. Google even provides users with jumping off points to web content and various perspectives to explore. The latest iteration of its search results page is vibrant, AI-driven, and dramatically different from previous versions. It features some of the company's most advanced natural language processing technologies to date, such as the new general-purpose Palm 2 model and the multitask unified model for analyzing various media formats. Palm 2 is seriously impressive. It's the next generation language model that builds on the success of its predecessor. It's a cutting edge language model that boasts advanced multilingual reasoning and coding capabilities. Google has heavily trained this AI on multilingual text spanning over 100 languages, which has significantly improved its ability to understand and translate nuanced text. It also excels in generating idioms, poems, and riddles in a variety of languages. Palm 2's advanced language proficiency allows it to even pass mastery-level exams. Palm 2's dataset includes scientific papers and web pages containing mathematical expressions, which makes it capable of improved logic, common sense reasoning, and mathematics. Additionally, Palm 2 is pre-trained on publicly available source code datasets, enabling it to generate specialized code in programming languages like Python, JavaScript, Prolog, Fortran, and Verilog, allowing it to help you fix your code and even translate it to Korean in the process. Google's new AI is faster and more efficient than previous models, and it comes in four sizes, ranging from the lightweight gecko to the powerful unicorn. Its versatility allows it to be fine-tuned for a wide range of cases, meaning that the smaller variant, gecko, can even be used offline on mobile devices. And yes, Google's chatbot Bard is confirmed to be using Palm 2 as well. BARD is now better at coding, citation, image generation, 
and even exporting your code to other tools like Replit. Google is serious about AI, and to that end, they even removed the waiting list for BARD, opening it up to more than 180 countries. But that's not all. Palm 2 even enhances Google Workspace features like Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Sheets, providing users with better and faster assistance. Users can create images from text in Google Slides, making spreadsheets by describing a task in Google Docs based on a short description. Google has even invested in the field of healthcare with MedPalm 2. Google's health research team have trained this specialized model with extensive medical knowledge. It's capable of answering questions and summarizing insight from dense medical texts. You can even send a photo of an x-ray and MedPalm 2 will identify any anomalies such as a major fracture or dislocation helping radiologists do their job faster and better. With its impressive medical competency, this large language model has achieved state-of-the-art results and become the first of its kind to perform at an expert level on U.S. medical license exam style questions. Google even plans to add multimodal capabilities to MedPalm 2 to improve patient outcomes in the future. But reliance on technology comes with its own set of security risks as well. Luckily for us, Google has integrated AI into its security solution with the advent of SecPalm. Google's AI answer against malicious threats. This specialized version of Palm 2 is specifically trained for security use cases. Through Google Cloud, SecPalm uses AI to instantly analyze and explain potentially malicious script behaviors, detecting actual threats to people and organizations. And while Google has been previewing Palm 2 since March behind closed doors, it's open to all developers right now. Palm 2 is even powering Duet AI for Google Cloud, meaning this generative AI collaborator will help teams build operate, and learn faster than ever. And this technology is even going to improve your shopping experience. Search results for a given product will include an AI-generated snapshot with key details such as descriptions, reviews, ratings, prices, and images to help consumers make informed decisions. This powerful AI shopping experience is supported by Google Shopping Graph, which features over 35 billion constantly evolving product listings, making it the world's most extensive dataset of its kind. The Shopping Graph is updated hourly with over 1.8 billion refreshed listings, ensuring that users receive the most up-to-date and reliable results. But how does it display ads? Search ads account for almost 60% of parent company Alphabet's revenue last quarter. For now, Google is moving slowly and carefully, meaning that the ads are going to be the same. Google is experimenting with how they want to implement them, but ads will continue to appear in dedicated ad slots throughout the page. This new ad system only works because the AI model will limit search results to a structured format leaving space for ads to be displayed alongside organic results. The only way to access Google's new AI-powered search experience right now is to try the experimental product called Search Generative Experience in Google's Search Labs. Not every search may generate an AI response, but it will give you a taste of what's to come. So are you going to sign up to the waiting list or hold off until they've ironed out all the issues? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.